The story is uh, when a house becomes a home. Really. All you people here, some have your own houses, some are just about to buy your new house, your first house. Some are staying in rented houses and are hoping, killing, dying, praying that one day you'll have your own house. <laughs> so any not who knows me knows me and my passion for houses. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, लोग उड़ते पर पक्षी के पर गिनते हैं मैं बैठी प्रॉपर्टी की पोटेंशियल देखता हूँ। So I wasn't like this. I promise you, I wasn't like this. People do have hobbies. They like cooking. They like painting. I like property. And it all started one fateful day in September 1997. I was seeing this girl Mandira and it was about for months and I already knew that there's the woman I want to marry. So the right thing to do is end up and go and meet the parents. So it was the 35th wedding anniversary in Delhi. And of course, this friend from Bombay has come down. So I was there for that party. And the next day, my flight was back in the afternoon. And uh, of course, a man can talk with the, the father. And then lunch and then take the flight back. So I sat in front of this man, tall, grey, turbaned, bearded, regal, speaks Queen's English, absolutely corporate. And here I was feeling like this one lowly jawan in front of an army general to just keep talking to me. He's asking for the daughter's hand. So there, sweating profusely, quietly sitting right in front of him and he says, so young man, what do you do? I said, I'm an assistant director. He says, very good. What does that mean? I said, I'm training to be a director. OK, it kind of made sense. Okay, his son is an MBA in HSBC Hong Kong. So he thinks, OK, there's a man who's got some kind of potential. He's heading somewhere. So the next question was, when will he be a director? So anyone who knows this industry knows it's the most interesting <laughs> I mean, I can be interrupted tomorrow, I can be interrupted in 10 years, I can never be interrupted. I can't lie to him. Now, he's called Gigi very fondly by our wife, so I can't lie to my future Gigi, you know. I have to tell him, but what do I tell him? And I thought it's better to be through it, so I said, I don't know. The smile disappeared from the face. There was worry lines. Now for someone who understands corporate life and says, okay, people here, they join as juniors, become seniors, VPs, chairman, whatever. Here's a man who wants to be a director, doesn't know when he'll be a director. Brilliant. Turns and looks at me and says, ah, hobby. What you do is a hobby. Just then my mother-in-law came in and she said, okay, lunch is served, now save by the bell. Across that table, I sat at that moment and reviewed my entire life and I looked at Gigi. And in Gigi, I saw a man who played golf six days a week. Because the uh, golf club is shut on Saturday. <laughs> and uh, he had, through his years of corporate life, put together lots of properties. And you can call him that Delhi to come off. He's a renter. So he had properties that were paying money and he had a great life. And that's the life I wanted. But at that moment, all I had was a Pagadiwala uh, 2 BHK family house that the entire family shared. Anyway, a few years later, <clears throat> I made my first film. And four months before my film released, I got married and Mandana moved in with me into this Pagadiwala 2 BHK house. Call it Providence, call it whatever, I still can't believe it. A year later, we had our own home in Bandra. Yes, we had a house that we built in Bandra. No, my film didn't work. I didn't make money in the film. And no, there was no crazy shit that happened. It's just a belief, and I say that land kind of chooses the people it wants to be with. And that's how we built our first haven. And over the years, there were lots and lots of properties that we built and lots of investments that we made and for that uh, they were, we were working like crazy and we were putting things together, fighting court cases, trying to pay off EMIs but trying to build that one life that Gigi had put together in Delhi. There was a time when 300 days in a year we wouldn't meet each other, we were just meeting at airports because we just wanted to make that life happen. Life was wonderful over the entire time, but what you need to realize is we were dinks. Double income, no kids. So we had houses, we had bank balances, we had bonds, we had cars, and we had houses. But everything could be, at any point of time, distributed over a small little fight. Everything could just go. 
ओके तेरी गाड़ी मेरी गाड़ी तेरा पेट मेरा पेट सो वी हाउसेस बजट भी हम होम ऑन इलेवेंथ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड इलेवन लीलावती हॉस्पिटल इलेवन थर्टी में मोर आई हेल्प माई सन एंड आई वॉज होम For the first time, I realized when a house becomes a home, that hospital, even though it was a hospital, felt like home because I had my child and I had my wife, and we had the most intangible, tangible thing in the world that we could share but not divide. It told me about the moment when that Gigi sat in front of me, was a big, gentle giant, only trying to take care of me. Can this man make a home? Thank you.